الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي لحب في الله In our study of Shara Sunnah Lil Imam Barbahari Rahimahullah Ta'ala We were discussing the Mizan which was the 17th point, the scale which weighs our deeds on the Day of Judgment. And we mentioned that this is evidenced in the Kitab Allah wa fi sunnati Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَأَجْمَعُوا السَّلَفِ عَلَى ذَلَكِ So we mentioned that the Qur'an and the Sunnah and the Salaf of this Ummah all evidence that the consensus of the Salaf evidences and supports this aspect of creed and that is belief that our deeds will be weighed on the Day of Judgment on the Mizan and that's a part of Iman. And that's what Imam Babahari was saying when he said, Qala rahimullah ta'ala, wal imanu bil mizan yawm al qiyamah yuzanu fihi al khair wa shar luhu kaffatan wa lisan. Where he said, rahimullah ta'ala, that a part of the creed of Ahl Sunnah is Iman or faith in the, uh, in the scales on the Day of Judgment that they will weigh the good and the bad deeds and that it contains two scales and a tongue and after mentioning the dalil and those who yukhalif had a mas'ala like the uh, mu'tazila that they uh, make inkar or they deny this uh, important aspect of creed Imam Ibn Uthaymeen rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned some nice benefits pertinent to this mas'ala and he said he brought up some other issues which were uh, masail or issues that the salaf uh, researched into and supported with evidence and one of the things he said اختلف العلماء هل هو ميزان واحد أو متعدد؟ He said that the scholars they disagreed over whether the scale is one scale or that it's many scales. So this is where Ahl Sunnah had some uh, differences pertinent to this issue regarding to the issue the مسائل دقيقة. These are very small issues contained within creed where there was different viewpoints of the Salaf. But none of the Salaf, Salaf al-Salih, disagreed about the Mizan, about it being a scale. But where they, the scholars differed, looking at the text, analyzing the text and some of them deduced that the scale uh, that it was many scales that it, that it seems to allude from the text from the kitab and the sunnah and the, uh, from the kitab and the sunnah that it seems to be evidence for more than one scale and some of them said no it is one scale so some of them who said that it was متعددة uh, or that it is more than one scale they said this in accordance with that it differed depending on the nation you know from the different ummas or as individuals or in accordance with the different deeds that people do And because when mentioning these various aspects 
and their deeds being weighed, that it is not mentioned, they say that it is not mentioned in the Quran except as uh, grouped together. And some of the scholars said that it is one scale. And they said their evidence for this is because what are the fil hadith mufaradan wama jam'uhu fil Quran fa bi i'tibar al mawzun wa kila imrain muhtamal wallahu alam. So the other group of scholars they said that the evidence shows that there's one scale and this is in accordance with uh, a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which mentioned uh, the scale being one scale and they mentioned that the dalil from the Quran about evidencing that which appears to evidence that there is more than one scale is in accordance with the different things that are being weighed from good deeds and, and, and what have you. And they said, and both of these issues uh, are possible. And they said, Allah knows best. So this is one of those Masail Daqiq, La Yatarattab Alayhi Ahkam. Very important for us to understand this that this difference, this is a, an issue, a, a, a very specific detailed issue which has no effect upon your practice nor does it disrupt your your uh, belief in the usul al-ittiqada ahl sunnah wal jamaah so by having a different different view with regards to this which some of the ulama had and another group said that it was one scale this does not affect and this does not fall under bid'ah or fall under uh, going against the nasus because both parties are speaking about something that is very specified that has no effect on our general creed. All the ulama of Ahlul Sunnah agree that there is a scale that weighs the deeds Yomul Qiyamah and this is by Ijma al Salaf. But this issue, this very specific detailed issue, has no effect upon your prayer or your mu'amalat or even in fact your aqidah you're not asked to go into depth into issues like this but in general we believe we believe in what's contained in the nasus and that is sufficient for us but as far as these masail daqiq there is no harm in this uh, difference as with other differences in these very specific, minute, detailed issues that you might have more than one goal from the Salaf of this Ummah and it being something relevant to it, uh, uh, Aqidah but detailed within. These are Masail Fur'i not Masail Usuli. So you don't have uh, uh, differences between the Sahaba or between the Salaf of this Ummah with regards to Aqidah, the usul of Ittikara uh, Ahl Sunnah, you don't have some of the Sahaba saying, we believe in the Qadr, and another group of the Sahaba saying, no, the Qadr means this or this, or that some say that Al Asma wa Sifat, uh, we affirm it as the Prophet, as Allah did in, Allah, in his Messenger, وسلم, and then have another group saying, no, we're, we have the creed of the Ashaira, or that the Ashaira could claim that they take it from the Sahaba. No, their belief does not come from the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, nor does it come from the Salaf al-Salih, but rather it comes from a distortion and from bid'ah that Imam Abu Hassan al-Ash'ari rahimahullah ta'ala was upon in his early uh, stages in his life as an Imam until the end of his life when he returned to the Ittiqad of Ahl Sunnah and left the Aqidah, the very stages which the modern day Asha'ira 
and other groups uh, base their aqidah upon, especially with regards to al asmai wa sifat. So the point being, ayyullah habiti fillah, is that the Salaf of this Ummah did not disagree in itaqad and uh, in the usul itaqad the foundation of the creed but rather when it came to issues minute that were far'iyya these are issues that branch out so this issue we're talking about is an issue within a major usul itaqad the usul is is that the usul in aqidah here the foundation in, in creed and why Imam Baba Hari mentioned this is pertinent to the belief of Ahl Sunnah with regards to the scale uh, the, that there's scales Yom Qiyama or a scale that weighs our deeds the Fara'iya where it branches off into very specific minute issues which were not necessarily required especially as the lay people or the general people to go into is these other Masail Daqiqa that the Ulama have Munakasha and debate and go into and explore, and that is the, an issue as we've mentioned, you know, is the Maizan, is it one scale or is it many scales? That's one of the issues. Another issue which is relevant uh, to bring up uh, that Imam uh, Ben Uthaymin rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned is that also that some of the scholars uh, held that different things were being weighed meaning some held the view that that the, 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 the text lead to believe that the uh, that our, our deeds will be weighed, such as in Suratul uh, uh, Qariya and some of the other verses that we mentioned, <coughs> where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, like in Suratul Mu'mineen, فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And who, whose ever scale uh, is heavy, and this is referring to the good deeds, then those are the successful ones. And some of them held that it was the actual person, the doer of the deeds, being weighed as well. And this is in accordance with the hadith of Abi Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and the Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, innahu liyati al-rajul al-azim al-sameen يوم القيامة لا يوزن عند الله جناح البعوذة that there will, a man will be brought on the day uh, of judgment and he will be a very uh, heavy or fat man, a big man f f uh, and fat on the day of judgment and he will not weigh anything to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or even to the extent of the wing of a uh, mosquito or the wings of a mosquito so some of the scholars looked at this nasus and said that uh, the the person the the doer you know me, meaning uh, people's action people themselves will be weighed as well in addition with their deeds and again ayyullah habitifillah these Maqal <coughs> and these issues, these masail, they do not have a, a hukum shar. You know, they they don't affect anything with regards to our deeds and our actions. That's not going to affect your fajr prayer, whether you believe that there is one scale or there are more than one scale. Nor is that going to uh, affect other aspects of your ibadah, your hajj or your khushur, or your akhlaq, or your adab, or anything relevant in Islam. But rather, these are masail daqiq that the ulama look into, and the mufassireen explaining those ayat and those verses, 
and Ahl al-Fiqh and so forth, that they look into these issues because they are Ahl al-Ma'rifah and it is imperative for them to have uh, that in-depth knowledge more so than you and I or the general Muslims. And everyone has a different level of knowledge. And with that, they have a different level of fadl with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because as we know that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, May yurid Allahu bihi khayran yifaqahu fi deen Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him knowledge of the religion. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, مَنْ سَلَقَ طَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَحَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ طَرِيكًا إِلَّا الْجَنَّةِ that whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make easy for him the path of Jannah. So the ulama, they are the most God-fearing. Those ones that, the amilina bil ilm, those who, who practice what they preach and the knowledge that they attained. They have more taqwa and more fadl with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will have a higher level of Jannah and rank and status with their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life as well as the next. And so on and so forth in accordance with your level of knowledge and practice. So the student of knowledge is not like the general people. The one who has, has stro strove in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to attain ilm, to attain fiqh to learn more about their religion and practice it. This person has more fadl than the person who doesn't do anything, who just even, or, or does even a, a little something. They read some books, they listen to some tapes or some lectures. That, that is also great benefit. And they have more fadl than the one who doesn't do that and so forth. So knowledge has different levels. And what is required from us is at different levels. And for us to get in those Messiah of the Qiqa is not necessarily for us in all of these particular issues, nor does it affect uh, the minhaj of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was uh, incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.